Well, hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us today for our webinar, How to Deliver a Better Patient Experience. This is part one in a three-part webinar series. Part two will be diving into clinical communications and workflow, and part three into remote patient monitoring. My name is Adam Mahmood. I'm the industry lead of healthcare here at Jamf, and I'm really excited to be walking through this content with you today. A brief look at our agenda and a couple housekeeping items. We'll start with a quick overview of Jamf, who we are, why we do what we do, and really what MDM or mobile device management is. We'll briefly cover some of the key initiatives and priorities in healthcare today and how those carry forward to iOS and tvOS solutions for patients. We'll of course leave some time for Q&A at the back end and please direct all your questions through the Q&A function within WebEx, not the chat function, so we can properly address them at the end of the session. Uh, this will also be recorded and hosted on Jamf.com, so no need to take notes or screenshots. We'll have this available for you at the end. So to start, for those of you who aren't familiar with Jamf, we help organizations succeed with Apple. It's really the mission we've been on for the last 16 years, and we've been laser focused on the Apple ecosystem. And we really embrace native Apple technology experiences that consumers have come to know and love. And based on that, have stayed dedicated to the platform and are committed to zero day support for all Apple releases and have been doing so for over a decade. We strive to support new versions from Apple and features that they released better and faster than anyone else on the market. Now, how do we do that? Well, through providing mobile device management or MDM for the entire Apple ecosystem. We support iOS, tvOS, and macOS to the fullest extent. And as Apple introduces new feature sets, put them into our product. Today, we have over 2,600 excuse me, 26,000 organizations that leverage Jamf for various types of use cases around their organization. This includes well-known brands and organizations across all industries around the globe. Now in healthcare, we have over seven, excuse me, seven of the top U.S. children's hospitals using Jamf to manage their Apple environment. And 14 of the top 20 U.S. adults hospitals use Jamf as well. From a product perspective, we have two core MDM products available. Jamf Now, our simple MDM solution that really does not require any IT experience. This is great for small to medium-sized businesses or perhaps somebody in a larger organization that's tasked with IT, maybe not their role, but a function they have for a project. And of course, Jamf Pro, which is our complete lifecycle management solution for organizations of all sizes. Now, what is MDM? Well, simply put, this is the framework by which corporate-owned Apple devices and some personally-owned devices are managed throughout their life cycle. This carries, encapsulates everything from the initial deployment of those devices out to the hands of your users, ensuring that they function for the purpose. MDM also encapsulates inventory, being able to report on those devices and truly understand the health of each device as it's being used. Configuration profiles, think of these as recipes of settings that can be sent out to devices and dictate how they work within your environment. Now, if a device isn't working properly, management commands allow us to issue a command to bring it back into the fold. For example, uh, a device that's lost could be placed into lost mode, protecting any data that's on that device. If that device is recovered, we can remove lost mode through another management command and get that device back into the hands of the user. Now, very important for the conversation today is the ability to deploy applications out to Apple devices and do so in a manner where they're pre-configured, streamlining the user experience when that nurse, doctor, or patient opens up that app for the first time. And of course, ensuring that everything is secure uh, given the sensitivity of this industry. And when you thread these concepts together, you see some of the power of Jamf emerge. We can use those config profiles, as I said, to set the settings of the device. We can then leverage Jamf to monitor the inventory and even set up alerts for non-compliant devices. By leveraging smart groups in Jamf Pro, well, we can automatically 
group devices together based on certain inventory attributes of each device. And when grouped together, if we notice a device is out of compliance, well, we can take automated action to those devices to bring it back into the fold. And the goal for your end users is an experience that's standardized. It's easy, quick access to the resources that you deem appropriate for them and not any distraction with other apps or resources that are default to uh, the native state of an iPad uh, from Apple. And when you put together this great ecosystem of Apple and a best-in-class Apple management system like Jamf, together with Apple's robust modern methodology for deploying technology, with great solution and ecosystem partners, you can really unlock some unique experiences. And this is really true for any industry. Certainly, healthcare is no exception. And when it comes to healthcare, well, we know there are a litany of priorities facing executives today. But one common theme that we see emerge is this notion of patient experience. How do we truly put the patient first in all things that we do in and throughout our institution? How can we truly subscribe to this patient-centric approach to care? Now, this isn't a new focus. The Institute for Healthcare Improvement's Triple AIM initiative has long established the experience of care alongside per capita cost and population health as really the three pillars that health systems should focus on as they monitor their performance. So if it's not new, you know, what's changed? Well, we're seeing a flood of mobile transformation initiatives, leveraging technology in new ways. Um, for example, how can we engage patients right at the bedside through a mobile device and augment the way that they experience care? How can we empower that care team around the patient to streamline and enhance the way they work? And how can we leverage mobility outside the four walls of the institution and promote better living and daily life? Now, these are big topics, and as we already spoke about today, we're really going to hone in on the first one today, but invite you back for phase two and three in the follow-up webinars. So to dig into these patient experience use cases, we feel strongly that it starts with equipping that patient with a new device, and that device being an iPad. And an iPad loaded up with all of the great apps from the Apple ecosystem can engage that patient, educate them, even entertain them in entirely new ways. So I'd like to actually take you through the end user experience. What does this look like for a patient as they're admitted into the institution? Well, upon check-in and admittance into the room, they're given a clean iPad, much like it's fresh out of the box. And there are just a few iOS setup assistant steps that are required. These are ones that MDM cannot skip today with Apple's framework. But past these three steps, all of the automation kicks off. And you see that this device is detected through Apple Business Manager and routed back to the right Jamf Pro environment to enroll into management. We see here in a matter of minutes, this device completes its enrollment and the right configuration appears all over the year without any hands-on configuration from IT. Now to talk briefly through some of the apps, we of course see EMR providers like Epic coming out with great patient-focused apps tailored to the inpatient setting. How can we advance forward the whiteboard that is, let's face it, rarely updated, or a care team schedule that might be out of date through technology, and ensure that a patient has easy access to this information at their fingertips? Well, this is a great example of how we can do it. Other institutions are going beyond just the EMR patient portal and equipping patients with automation to control their environment. For example, this app, Crestron, is being used in some hospitals so the patient can control their lighting, adjust the temperature, even draw the blinds up and down, and control the television right from the tablet. Think of the operational benefits this brings. You know, not only uh, equipping the patient to do these things themselves, but it, you know, eliminating calls into the, the nurse team for non-care related tasks. So there's multiple ways that this benefits both the patient and the care team. Now, from the MDM perspective, we're doing some unique things here, leveraging Apple's managed app configuration framework. Through Jamf, we're able to pre-configure each version of the Crestron app for each room to ensure that a patient is only controlling their environment and not their neighbors. 
Now, if you're not an Epic Shop, or perhaps you're looking to leverage your existing in- investment into patient experience initiatives, there are other apps that are available too. Many know GetWell Network as a leader in this space, and their iOS apps can be deployed through Jamf Pro and pre-configured with the app config framework, as we mentioned. We're able to actually pass GitWell Network's backend system some key details about the device. And based on those details, they're able to determine where that device is within the institution and even pre-authenticate the app for the patient so that they see the relevant content deployed through the GitWell Network app to them. Another great example of a transformative app is our partner Tonic Health. Tonic, like Jamf, is a member of the Apple Mobility Partner Program, a curation of best-in-class applications. And they're really looking to change the way that data is collected. Think of the processes that we are all familiar with today when we visit a hospital or clinic. Nobody likes filling out a paper clipboard. Like, let's reduce the duplicate entry for your teams and you know, do away with an experience that we know no patient really likes today. Now, a couple other apps that I'd like to share. CareServant, a partner of ours in EMEA, uh, focused uh, on this patient portal mindset, pulling together really what's relevant based on the hospital systems that they're serving and presenting that in one application that patients can use. This provides access to education, communication with the staff, and even other patients, entertainment options, as well as service requests. Another member of the Apple MPP program is BeagleBox and a partner of Jamf. And through their app, a similar function whereby a patient can get access to coaching or services or even entertainment all in one app. And of course, other App Store apps can be deployed alongside these examples. Now, we recommend that as you're crafting a strategy, you pick a couple key applications or anchor apps to push out through Jamf Pro. But you know, how can we offer up more choice for patients beyond that? Self-service is the answer. This is Jamf's private app catalog. You can deem which applications you want to expose within the self-service app portal, and a patient can open it up, browse the catalog, and when they find an app or game they'd like, they just download it. And they do that without any pop-up or requirement for an Apple ID. That's based on Jamf's tight integration with Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager. So this all may sound great. You know, we have a patient set up and configured with this personalized experience, even though it's a institutionally owned device, which you know, may be having some questions emerge as well. How do we undo all of this? And truly, this was the sticking point that all of our customers were facing as they explored this use case. And we had customers who were trying this with Apple technology with other MDMs, or even on other hardware solutions. And all of them had this problem. How do we, in a scalable way, remove that patient footprint from the device? And this is where Jamf decided to lean in. And working closely with some of our customers, we developed a solution called Healthcare Listener. This is a way that we can automatically, digitally sterilize an iPad between patient use, ensuring that it's prepped as fresh for the next patient. Now, more specifically, Healthcare Listener is an EMR integration to Jamf Pro. This is the only EMR integration to any MDM system that exists on the market. We're able to listen for HL7 ADT messages that represent milestones on the patient journey and use those messages to trigger automated MDM commands. This all happens over the air without any IT or care team involvement. So to look more specifically at the ADT messages that we can listen for, you see these represented on the left side of the screen, as well as the remote commands that Healthcare Listener can tell Jamf Pro to issue based on the triggers. Now, 95% of our customers really start with a basic rule set. Leave the iPad in the room. And if the patient is ever discharged or transferred out of the room, wipe that device. That way we can ensure PHI is protected, yet patients have this great experience available to them. Here's a look at a healthcare listener rule in Jamf Pro, where you can see we specify what operating system we want these commands to be issued for, iOS or tvOS, what types of ADT messages we're listening for, 
and then of course what remote command we want issued automatically. Now, as you're seeing here, iPad is not the only device that Healthcare Listener works for. An Apple TV can be a great kind of phase two or second component of a patient experience deployment. It was really last year that Apple made some key advancements to the Apple TV platform and brought forward all of these modern um, zero-touch deployment methodologies to the Apple TV as well. Now, in true zero-day support, uh, Jamf had uh, built in all of these functionalities to our product about a week and a half before that version of tvOS released to the public, which allowed us to do amazing things like what you'll see here. Here's an Apple TV that was just plugged into power to Ethernet as well as the television, and the administrator just walked away. That's it. You'll see the Apple TV goes through a Apple Business Manager enrollment workflow to Jamf, and upon the enrollment being completed, applications are deployed out to this TV. We see apps being restricted. The app here in this case is Carousel. It's a great digital signage application. And you can see that Carousel kicks open. And this Apple TV in a matter of minutes became a digital sign. It's that easy to deploy Apple TV. Now in healthcare, the most common use case for patients is all about airplay. Or if you're not familiar with that term, it's Apple's version of screencasting. If I'm a patient sitting in a bed looking at my chart bedside, for example, well, what if I want to look on that at that on a larger screen and maybe, you know, allow my family and a few members of the care team to see that as well? AirPlay is a great way to do that and leverage the greater screen real estate of the larger television. Now, that said, there are security challenges with that. We, of course, would not want to accidentally broadcast our patient record or my patient record to my neighbor's room. And so Jamf worked hard to build in some security protocols where we whitelist the communication between these devices. If an iPad and Apple TV room are shared in a same room, um, and in Jamf Pro, they share an inventory attribute for that room, well, we can turn on AirPlay permissions and ensure that only those two devices can communicate with each other making it simple for the patient when they choose to airplay as to which destination they're broadcasting to. Now beyond airplay, we're really excited for native tvOS app solutions that are being developed. Here's an example from our partner Moncierge, another member of the Apple MPP program, who's been putting out great apps for the hospitality space and realized there's a lot of relevance for the guest experience notion that we want to offer to patients in hospitals. They're even making it possible to pull in IPTV content from really any provider, satellite or cable, into the tvOS platform and render it here within their application. So some great advancements to push forward the, the possibilities. Now, if those are the solutions of how Apple TV and iPad can push forward the patient experience, how does it really look in practice? Well, we want to walk through just a few examples of our current deployments today. And there's no better place to start than UC San Diego Health. This is one of our first customers to work closely with Jamf and Apple on this use case. And about two years ago, they deployed what you see on the screen. In every single one of their 250 uh, single occupancy rooms in Jacobs Medical Center, an iPad and an Apple TV await the patient as they're admitted. And many of the apps that we discussed today are being deployed now, in this case, they actually already had a robust educational video library uh, that had been produced in the past. So they were able to tap into that and simply expose it on the iPad, offering up a new kind of conduit to get to that content for patients. And of course, they're leveraging Jamf self-service to push out a number of entertainment apps uh, for the patients to download when they like. I simply just love this quote from Mark, the director of IS Experience, because it really speaks to the benefit and the, the outcomes of automation. With Jamf Healthcare Listener, they've wiped the devices over 40,000 times in those two years. They're averaging about 150 automated wipes per day. Obviously, that means 150 re-enrollments to Jamf Pro as well. Think about that. That's 40,000 times that a member of the care team didn't have to do anything to refresh that device for the next patient. That's 40,000 times that a help desk analyst did not have to field a call 
did not have to access the MDM console to go find a device and execute a remote wipe. So it's just really amazing to see the ROI from a headcount perspective. But that said, how is this really pushing forward the notion of patient experience? Well, Chris Longhurst, their CIO and associate CMIO, recently released a study, and they're seeing some amazing results that really validate the stickiness of multiple apps being deployed together. They saw that patients were much higher, much more likely to open up MyChart Bedside and get access to their patient portal if they had been using that iPad for room control as well. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the UC San Diego story, head over to jamf.com and check out our videos tab. There's a great update from Mark Silvestrak at our Jamf Nation user conference, which took place last October here in Minneapolis. And there's a video that walks through an update of the project two years into the deployment. Now, another client we'd like to share is Emma Children's Hospital, part of the Amsterdam University Medical Center in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Emma Children's Hospital, about um, nine months ago, started working with our partner, CareServant, and today has a deployment within the teenage um, unit within the hospital. So these pediatric patients are able to get access to education and entertainment and distraction, and it's all really tailored to them. Right? This part, part is part of their strategy of you know, ensuring that every patient gets the best possible care, regardless of the reason that they're admitted. And I think this quote from Marainta really speaks to that as well. We want life to continue in the most normal way possible. Right? How can we bring that sense of normalcy into what we know is not a normal environment? And George from CareServant speaks to the benefit that their application is bringing creating new types of relationships between the patient and the staff around them that really benefits everyone. Now, if you'd like to learn more about this story, same thing, head over to jamf.com. We have a great written case study that brings this uh, message to life, as well as a video that goes through the details for you in depth. Now, just north of Amsterdam is another hospital with Apple technology deployed. West Frigest House also works with one of our partners and deployed the BeagleBox solution last year. So here the BeagleBox Pika application is used for education and entertainment and distraction again. And alongside that is a room service app that patients use for meal ordering and other types of service requests. Now one specific from this deployment, they're also pushing out real-time patient satisfaction surveys to the device. And one of those surveys is specifically around the iPad in and of itself. So they've been able to receive direct feedback from their patients who have validated that, yes, indeed, the iPad is providing a better experience for them throughout this day. A member of the caregiving staff uh, talked about this with us as well and just compared how different a TV mounted on the wall is from an iPad that is mobile and allows a patient to use the device when they want, where they want, and really do something different, benefiting the patient in new ways. We have an in-depth case study on jamf.com available for your review, so head on over and take a peek. Now lastly, and certainly not least, I'd like to talk about Seattle Children's Hospital. Many know this as a top U.S. children's hospital who's always at the forefront of new ways to engage their population. Many years back, in 2012, Seattle Children's Hospital started working with a partner of Jamf called the Bungie Foundation. Now, you may know the Bungie name. They're a leading game developer responsible for titles like Halo and Destiny and other video games. And in 2012, the founder was thinking about ways to give back to the community and wanted to start up a philanthropic arm of the organization. And out of that came the Bungie Foundation. Bungie Foundation wanted to stay true to their overall landscape entertainment, but wanted to figure out a way to point that back into benefiting uh, their community in new ways. And out of that became uh, this program, the iPad for Kids program. Bungie Foundation 
completely manages this as a turnkey solution for Seattle Children's and provides iPads with management from Jamf and ongoing maintenance of this entire program so that kids can get access to apps for distraction and entertainment, making it easy to prep to prep for surgery or perhaps recover after. Now, something very unique to the Bungie deployment is a workflow where we can deploy age-appropriate configurations. They worked closely with Jamf to develop an application that, upon initial deployment, gives a choice for that child life specialist as to the developmental age of that child. They select pre-K or teenage or whatever other option is available. And based on that selection in the app, that will communicate that request back to Jamf and reconfigure that device over the fly so that the child has the right content for them. I love this quote as well from Laura, the Director of Patient and Family Experience. You know, the biggest thing for us is that this is an example of how we can provide healthcare differently for kids. We can attend to their sickness and to their wellness at the same time. And Wendy Sue, the Chief of Digital Innovation, really aligns with this as well. It's not surprising that when kids are hospitalized and stressed and in pain, they reach for something that's familiar, distracting, inventive. Right? This is a reminder of what's normal, as we talked about before. And a quote from Christine, the Senior Foundation Manager at Bungie Foundation. This really speaks to the power of automation. Prior to working with Jamf, Bungie was managing this manually and even staffing headcount on-site at Seattle Children's to cleanse devices uh, on their own. So they're seeing just how far they can scale this program and have brought it to a bunch of other institutions across the United States this last year. Now, if you'd like to learn more, head over to jamf.com. Same story, we have a great written case study on Seattle Children's, as well as a separate written case study on the Bungie Foundation, and even a video that goes more in depth as to the program. So that's Jamf's story for patient experience. We feel that we have something that's simple, easy to use for the patient. It, of course, protects what's relevant and important for them. Yet, this doesn't add new burden for IT or care teams in the institution. Now, there's one more thing. You know, at the heart of Jamf is this desire to empower people with technology. And we know that Healthcare Listener and our patient bedside solution does that. But, you know, there are some patient-facing deployments that don't necessarily work in an automated fashion like this. So how can we kind of take this same concept of, you know, customizing a institutionally owned device and then wiping it at the end of use, but make it easy for a person to be part of that process? And that's where Jamf's new apps, Jamf Setup and Jamf Reset came from. So Jamf Setup the easiest way to choose a configuration for a device. This is all done over the air without any IT involvement, without a cart, and allows us to offer up shared deployments for iOS. So here you see a screenshot of Jamf setup where we have a number of roles that have, or kind of personas that have been pre-populated by IT. So if I select the NICU profile, that'll make a communication back to Jamf reconfigure that iPad over the year, and then only present the relevant NICU applications. In this case, one of our partners, Locus. Well, what if I want to decide when I'm done with this device? And maybe, you know, I'm not admitted. Uh, therefore, we don't have a way we could use our automation with Healthcare Listener. That's where Jamf Reset came from. This is by far the simplest way to erase an iOS device. Again, done by the user without IT involvement. So a screenshot of what Jamf set, uh, Reset looks like, dead simple for the user to understand what they need to do. Upon hitting that big red button and confirming, that iPad is wiped. And that's all done with communication back to Jamf Pro to issue the wipe command. So to recap, a quick uh, highlight of a few things we spoke about today. Jamf Healthcare Listener, Jamf Setup, Jamf Reset, Three unique offerings that only come with Jamf and that you will not find with other solutions on the market. Now, Healthcare Listener works with all electronic medical record systems, but it is promoted within the Epic App Orchard system, so you can find it there. 
Now, Jamf has our own marketplace. Head over to marketplace.jamf.com to find all different types of apps and integrations and even consultants that help you get the most out of Jamf Pro. We also have a great developer portal for app partners that want to look at ways to look uh, to work closely with Jamf to provide solutions for your end customers. And a great community. Jamf Nation is the largest community of Apple administrators in the world with over 62,000 uh, people today. Now, it's not just the product. We have amazing service offerings, training, and support that all come together to help us achieve 96% customer retention year over year. So we'd love to talk to you more in depth about the full offering from Jamf. Specific to the patient bedside solution, we have dedicated services to help customers stand this up in their environment. So a couple quick next steps. Contact us to learn more. Head over to Jamf.com. There are a number of webinars, such as the one you're part of today, which are available for you uh, to review. And as we talked about, a great discussion within Jamf Nation. And lastly, Jamf.com slash healthcare is the one-stop shop for all of the topics we've discussed today. So with that, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Um, and we would love to continue the conversation with you and your organization directly. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.